Good evening from BBC London News. Six of the UK's top ten most crime-ridden postcodes are here in the capital, according to Home Office figures. The worst is close to the Olympic Park, Meridian Square in Stratford, where there have been nearly 3,500 offences within an 18-month period. Emma North has this report. It's a year since Stratford said goodbye to the Olympics. Twelve months on, it's back in the headlines, but for less happy reasons. Pockets of the E15 postcode saw more crime than anywhere else in the country. And with scenes like the murder of Liam Woodards at the Westfield shopping centre last June, it's an area ripe for a bad reputation. Except nobody we spoke to today felt they were standing in the heart of Britain's crime capital. Well, I've lived around here all my life, so I feel fine. I've never seen anybody else get into any trouble while I've been walking around. I feel fairly safe. Well, we're across the Westfield, so we're in pocket for lunch, we feel safe here. Newham Council says it's paid for extra policing. Local traders say you can tell. The security officers roam in the halls, you know, ever since we're here, 12 hours a day, um, police, it's fine. But with 160,000 people coming here each day, Stratford's an understandable hotspot. Other postcodes experiencing trouble seem less likely. Some of London's more exclusive addresses also experienced high levels of crime. This side street in W1 had the third highest level of car crime in the country, beaten only by the car park at IKEA in Edmonton and Milton Keynes railway station. It's really parallel to the street. A friend of mine has a house has been broken into twice and a few friends live around here and they said their cars have been broken into and it's becoming a problem. I'm quite surprised because I do live in the neighbourhood and um, I, walking home from work I always let my guard down once I get to the Marlborough area. The Met say crime has fallen but this latest map might highlight some areas in need of attention. Emma North, BBC London News.